Well, got some boats on the river and an extremely verbose cardinal out here. So welcome to evening prayer. Boats, cardinals, and a geriatric boxer. Yeah. Hope your day's going well. Hope that you are able to enjoy some of the sunshine and just having a good day. Julia Tyson, good to see you. Liam McSwords. Judith Spencer. Since we name everything else around this house, I ought to name that Cardinal because it chirps in the background on pretty much every Zoom meeting, broadcast, and anything that I do out here. I'll come up with a name for it. Whatever Nicole's feeding it, it works. <laughs> Just out girdling my trees today. Three of the trees on this property. Have been had been allowed to just have grapevines overrun them terribly. I don't even know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. Yeah, like that. Uh, so I girdled three of those trees today. So I think I got the uh, I think I got the grapevines off pretty well. Some of those are about four inches thick. They were they were on there, but we got this now. Kathy and Scott, howdy, howdy. What's the Benton? All right, you wanna go see your mommy? All right, let's get the squeaky animal out. I love that. I love that. Well, whatever Melissa's or whatever Nicole's feeding them, Melissa and the bird feeder works. We've got uh, got woodpeckers now too, which they're staying in my trees, not in my house. I'm happy about that. And uh, there's enough spilling over that now we've got little brown chipmunks too. So I've got a whole little woodland scene outside my house. Holy cow. Hey, Shannon. Hey, John. Good to see you all. Oof. Okay, prayers for you. There's no little prayer emoji, but prayers for you. All right, well, it's 6.30, so let's go ahead and get rolling. We are on page 109. 109 of your prayer book, an order of worship for the evening.
Alleluia, Christ is risen. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Eternal God, who led your ancient people into freedom by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, grant that we who walk in the light of your presence may rejoice in the liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. On page 112 is the Fos Hilaron. Let us read that together. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 74, which begins on page 689 of your prayer book, page 689. Excuse me. Psalm 74. Psalm 74. Let us read it together. O oh God, why have you utterly cast us off? Why is your wrath so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation that you purchased long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your inheritance, and Mount Zion where you dwell. Turn your steps toward the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste everything in your sanctuary. Your adversaries roared in your holy place, they set up their banners as tokens of victory. They were like men coming up with axes to a grove of trees. They broke down all your carved works with hatchets and hammers. They set fire to your holy place. They defiled the dwelling place of your name and raised it to the ground. They said to themselves, let us destroy them all together. They burned down the meeting places of God and the land. There are no signs for us to see. There is no prophet left. There is not one among us who knows how long. How long, O oh God, will the adversary scoff? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you draw back your hand? Why is your right hand hidden in your bosom? Yet God is my king from ancient times, victorious in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might and shattered the heads of the dragons upon the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave him to the people of the desert for food. You split open spring and torrent. You dried up ever flowing rivers. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember, O oh Lord, how the enemy scoffed, how a foolish people despised your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Never forget the lives of your poor. Look upon your covenant. The dark places of the earth are haunts of violence. Let not the oppressed turn away ashamed let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, maintain your cause. Remember how fools revile you all day long. Forget not the clamor of your adversaries and the ending tumult of those who rise up against you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading for this evening comes from Matthew 6, verses 25 to 34. Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the lilies of the field, which are alive today and tomorrow, is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. Here ends the reading. Our canticle for this evening is over on page 86. Page 86, canticle nine, the first song of Isaiah. Hey, Craig. Hey, Chris. Good to see y'all. Page 86, Canticle 9, the first song of Isaiah. And let us say that together. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. The Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. This is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. On page 120 is the Apostles' Creed. As you were able, I invite you to join me in saying that together. the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours 
now and forever. Amen. On page 122, our suffrages be. Let us pray those together. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Almighty and everlasting God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you, present in your word and sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. On page 123 is a collect for peace. A collect for peace. Let us pray that together. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And then over on page 816, 816, prayer number six. This is something a little different. Page 816, prayer six for our enemies. Let us pray together. O God, the Father of all, whose Son commanded us to love our enemies, lead them and us from prejudice to truth, deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge, and in your good time enable us all to stand reconciled before you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And then finally, over on page 832, Prayer number 59. A quiet confidence. Let us pray together. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your spirit, lift us, we pray you, to your presence. That we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions, silently or aloud. Shannon and from the folks involved in this call, and everyone involved in the situation, prayers for them. I give you thanks for the sunshine this evening for each person gathered here. Uh, I ask that uh, as you know what's on our hearts, please hold us close, answer our needs and concerns, calm our fears, give us a sense of your peace and presence and let each person know how much they are loved, guide and direct us in the hours and days ahead. 
And please also hold our loved ones close and keep them safe. Amen. On page 125 is the general thanksgiving. Let us pray that together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, friends, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. I was calling and talking with some of our elders today, and folks are doing well. Folks are doing well. I heard some great stories, some great things going on. Just continue to keep folks in your prayers. Keep Ginny in your prayers as she deals with the loss uh, of Victor. Uh, keep Tony and Candy in your prayers. So far as I know, Tony is doing all right. Uh, keep them in your prayers. And um, just grateful for all of you, for the ways that you're involved with this parish community and the ways that you keep, that you just, that you just are by your presence and by the many ways you pray and do. You're a delight to walk with. See you tomorrow, friends.